Hey guys, um, I'm going to start making a couple videos to show you what to do with all that sourdough discard um, that you're going to wind up having if you're continuously feeding and dumping half of your discard off um, every day. Um, if you only bake once a week, it might take you a while to come up with uh, enough discard to make some of these recipes, but most of them I think only call for a half to a cup of discard. Um, I have about I think six cups of discard. So we're good for the recipes that I'm going to show you how to make. Today we are going to make cinnamon raisin sourdough bread from King Arthur flour. And what we are going to start out with is half a cup of our discard, our sourdough discard. We've got three cups of King Arthur's unbleached all-purpose flour. Two and a half teaspoons of the instant yeast. So that's this guy here, little yeast granules. We have a tablespoon of sugar. We've got um, our one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, an egg, and we've got five tablespoons of softened butter and two thirds of a cup of lukewarm water. Those are going to go into the mixer here. We are going to use our KitchenAid stand mixer. You can also mix this by hand or do some hand kneading. But basically, we just need to combine our sourdough discard. And for this recipe, it says you can use either fed or unfed. So it's kind of up to you. And we're going to add our sugar, our yeast, salt, our water, and nice fresh chicken egg. I always pray there's not a baby chicken in there when I open it. So far, so far I've never opened one with a baby chicken in it, but you never know. So we're going to just give that a quick stir. And you'll notice I have what's called a dough hook attachment on my KitchenAid mixer. And that is specifically for slowly kneading bread doughs together. Bread flour. There we go. And I'm going to put my softened butter in there. And turn this guy on. We are going to let this go slowly for about five minutes and check it. As soon as our dough looks smooth, we are going to be putting it into a greased bread uh, pan. So we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes um, of mixing on our with our dough hook here. And you can see that the dough ball is pretty cohesive. It's pretty smooth. And what it needs to do now is go into a greased mixing bowl and we have to let it rise. And we are going to let it rise for about one and a half to two hours until it's doubled in size. So right now I'm just going to do a visual check and kind of make a little note in my mind of about where I think it should be when it's doubled in size. Hey guys, it's been about two hours since we've left our dough to rise. I've got my daughter, Anna, here. She's going to be helping stir some of our filling ingredients together. Uh, we are going to stir together uh, some sugar. We've got about a fourth of a cup of sugar. Go ahead and put it in there. We have two teaspoons of the King Arthur's unbleached flour. Here you go. And we have a teaspoon and a half of Vietnamese cinnamon. There you go, mix that up. While she's mixing that up, I'm going to grab our bread dough. You can see how it has doubled in size. It's now ready to be deflated. Um, deflating, I'm just going to press it gently in the center. You're going to see how it begins to pull away there. You know. Fold it in on itself gently. And then I'm gonna transfer it here to my greased work surface. And I'm gonna flatten this into 
a rectangle that's about six inches by 20 inches. And of course we don't need to make this exact. All right, so we're gonna try and get it a little longer this way, a little longer that way. The gluten bonds are pretty strong here, so it's hard to hard to get it to go where you want it to go. I would say that's probably about six by 20. We are then going to, I believe Anna, you can help me here. We are going to brush the dough with our egg and water mixture. So this is one egg and about a tablespoon of water. And you're just gonna use either, if you have um, a silicone brush, like a basting brush like this one, or if you've got um, one of the ones with the little brush hairs, uh, I prefer silicone because it doesn't, doesn't get those little hairs everywhere. So while she's brushing that with the egg and water mixture, I am then going to start sprinkling it with our cinnamon mixture and our 70 grams of raisins. We do want to leave about a half or an inch down here that doesn't have any toppings on it um, and that's going to help us in the end when we roll it up to seal it shut. So go ahead and get more all the way to the edges. Please. Yep, just not this. Just leave that little guy down there because we're going to use that to seal it shut. Maybe a little bit more down there. It's not quite there. There you go. Keep going. All right, so I'm going to start at this end while she's finishing that end up. And I am just sprinkling this cinnamon and sugar. There's a little flour on there. Now it's not important if you don't use the entire egg mixture, but I highly suggest using the entire flour, cinnamon, sugar mixture. And we're just being pretty even with our raisins and our toppings. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and add some more raisins because I love raisins. And I see some open holes. Nobody likes that, right? All right. So then we are going to roll this up. We are going to start at the end that does have the raisins and the cinnamon all the way here and roll it up nice and tight until we get to the end down there. And then we are going to be, um, we are going to be sealing it shut. Anna, will you grab me the greased bread pan from back there? Yeah. All right, get in there. So now we've come to the end and I'm sealing it shut here. I am also going to pinch the ends to seal in those raisins, seal in the, so you can kind of see how we're gonna just pinch those guys shut as well. Now, you'll notice there's a big seam here. We are gonna transfer this into the greased loaf pan, nine by four loaf pan, with the seam side down. There we go. Now, it's gonna sit here it's gonna rise for another hour. We're gonna expect it to maybe go about an inch above the rim of our pie, or of our uh, bread tin here. And then we know that um, it's ready to bake. Now, honestly, I've never baked this one before, so we're just crossing our fingers, hoping we follow the directions, right? All right, we're gonna cover it, let it rise for another hour, and we'll see you soon. We're back. It's been about an hour, and, uh, hour, hour and ten minutes, and our cinnamon raisin sourdough loaf has definitely um, risen quite a bit. Uh, it's about an inch above our 
bread pan, which is what the recipe says to go for. I've been preheating the oven to 350. It is ready to go. So I'm going to put the bread in the oven. I'm going to bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. As soon as this browns on top, I'm going to tent a piece of tin foil over the top. It means I'm gonna just lay it just like this over it in the oven. And that's gonna prevent the top from getting overly browned. Um, then we are gonna let you guys see how it turns out. Um, so it goes in 15 to 20 minutes later. I'm gonna tent over the top and then let it finish cooking for the rest of the 40 to 45 minutes. Let's put this in there, see what happens. All right, see you in 40 minutes. All right, this guy is done. He uh, was in there for 45 minutes. Um, we tented it for about um, 20 out of those 45 minutes and then at the very end uh, it still wasn't quite brown so we pulled the uh, tent off and um, browned it just a little bit more. Um, it's still pretty warm but I think we should cut into it. Warm cinnamon bread sounds pretty good to me. Let's grab a cutting board. And a knife. Probably making poor choices here. Looks pretty good. <laughs> this could be an epic fail, or it could be amazing. It smells good, I'll tell you that. Ooh, looking good in there. Steaming. I'm pretty ready to try that. So, in using your sourdough discard, as long as it tastes good, I would say this is a, a good a good start. Tomorrow we will be posting more videos on sourdough discard and how to use it up. Um, we're going to make some crumpets and donuts. Uh, my daughter wants to make sourdough discard donuts. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I guess it's a hit. <laughs>